Oh, dude, Alex. I just got Sharpie all over my nose because I was going to sniff it for like a really funny joke where I was going to say how good this Sharpie smells. But now it, I can only smell Sharpie and this is fucking awful. I was expecting you to say like, hmm, what's that smell? It's another noise, boys. But no, you just disappointed me. <laughs> oh, speaking of disappointment, how many months has it been? It's been like two months since we did an actual ass podcast episode. And it's all RuneScape's fault because I've been sitting here doing literally nothing like I always do every week asking, hey, Teddy, want to do a podcast? And you're like, yeah, but I didn't sit, boys. And I'm like playing RuneScape. I'm like, there's a drop party going on in the Grand Exchange. I just, I just can't right now. Okay, Let's first you. of all, it was like two months away in the past that I wasted on RuneScape, okay? I've paid my time in the RuneScape mines. I sold my rune armor as penance. I can buy it back, though, because the the price has gone, you know, down. Because I'm a fucking master manipulator. Um, but yeah, it's been, um, a bit. Um, I've been doing sit boys. Uh, we have, there's like a scene left to record. Um, the rest of it has to get edited together. It started as like, I wanted like maybe a 20 minute video and now one scene is 12 minutes long. So, uh, I guess, whoops, uh, I had a nine page long script, so I guess I probably should have seen that coming. Damn, Tad, looks like you're about to be George Lucas in The Phantom Menace, where after watching it, he was like, yeah, I uh, maybe went a little too far in some places. I think it's pretty funny, though. Um, but everything's recorded now. Um, we're pretty much just editing it together. I was actually over at Joe's house uh, helping him put it together, and we did that for about two hours, and then Joe just started looking at Chris Chan videos, and then he <laughs> wouldn't stop. And his cat kept farting on the bed. Why was that part relevant? Because I was sitting on the bed and the cat was farting next to me, Alex. Come on, <laughs> keep up. <laughs> just move the... Whatever, 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 whatever. So anyway... Anyway. Now that we're finally back out of the fucking abyss... We're here to make one video and then probably not, not make another video for another, like, three fucking years. So, what I wanted to talk about was just pretty much anything, because this is a noise boys. boys. See, Alex, I caught up on it. I did it. Unlike you. Hey, I started it this time, bitch. Start these nuts. Hey, look, I'm like Alex. I contribute nothing to the conversation. Ooh, dude. Simply fucking Damn. epic. How awesome of you. <laughs> yeah, man, this is off to a really good start. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Professionals. Oh, um, side note. Uh, one of my bosses at work threw a pen at me because I said epic Fortnite dab and then dabbed and he whipped a pen at me. It can't be a side note if you haven't made an initial note in the first place, Dad. So Dab. So what I wanted to fucking talk about... I was going to do a different episode that I even talked about, like, last night. I was being all introspective and shit last night, where I felt bad that the past few episodes we've been making were, especially my own videos, were mostly just kind of, like, summaries of shit. We were, like, bootleg video game reviewers. I didn't like that, and I kind of wanted to go back to being an actual podcast again. And I had a couple ideas that I wanted to do, and then the Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer came out, and I hated it, so that kind of distracted me. So we're going to talk about that really <laughs> fast. So anyway, Tad, yikes. Did you see it? I did. I actually watched it on my uh, on my phone at work. Um, or no, wait. When did I watch it? No, that's right. I watched it while I was getting spicy chicken nuggets from Burger King, which is how I imagine they wanted me to watch that trailer. So, I have a couple of things I want to say about that movie. One, why? Two, why a second <laughs> time? And three, well, at least Jim Carrey looks like he can carry the movie, but... Four. Why? He can Jim carry it. <laughs> I see why he threw a pen at you. Uh, here's a fun fact. Um, when I was really little, when I was like six to like nine, uh, we would still go to church and stuff. And every night I would pray for Jim Carrey to stay alive because he was really funny and I didn't want him to die. That's so innocent and adorable. You see, <laughs> my favorite thing about Jim Carrey when I was a kid is that uh, he looked kind of like my dad. And so I liked him a lot because I didn't really have a dad. Mm -hmm. Dear God, please <laughs> yeah, don't is. let Jim Carrey jump off the jungle gym and break both ankles. 
Well, like, <laughs> now they look different because now my dad got hit in the face with 40 years of alcoholism and lost most of his front teeth. But back in the day, before he looked this bad, he they looked really similar. They had similar, like, foreheads and hairs and noses. That's pretty yeah, much yeah. it. They, they, they had similar features. My friend and roommate, John, when he was in high school and earlier, he looked spot fucking on to Lloyd, like the, the character from Dumb and Dumber played by Jim Carrey. He had the same exact hair and face. It was fucking incredible. So The only thing he was missing was he didn't have the, you know, the fucked up teeth. Because, you know, he didn't get... Did Lloyd, uh, it's been a while. I, I'm, I haven't bummed up, bummed up. I haven't, um, boned up on my Dumb and Dumber lore in a while. Do you know why he has the, the messed up front teeth? I haven't seen that movie since I was like 10, so I do not remember. All I remember from that movie is the one fucking scene, because it killed me when I was a kid, was, uh, when he had this imaginary friend, and he, <laughs> he pushes him in the car, and the fucking, like, toy car just gets fucking run over by a truck. <laughs> It's, it's like I had, a, I had an imaginary friend, but he died. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh so fucking hard. Was it? I thought you were gonna say the the chocolate bar scene where he's in the bathroom <laughs> and melts on the radiator. <laughs> no, but that's good too. That's such a dumb movie. So the first thing everyone's gonna get out of the way is Sonic looks fucking awful. He looks so goddamn ugly. I. Now, do you see the meme picture that gets posted around where it's like, you know, here's a cute cartoon character. Here's Hollywood's interpretation. That's the big problem, too. That's a, that's a huge thing. But at what point did nobody who was making it realize it looked ugly? Like, you guys, human beings have the ability to recognize when something hits the uncanny valley. How did nobody making that model realize, hey, this looks kind of weird and gross? It could be that they uh, it was so separated they never saw it in like a scene. Um, alternatively, it could be what Sega always does, where they ape Nintendo. Like, oh, they're making a live action Pokemon movie. Shit, we better we better, just like with all of our games. Let's make a shitty, not that great video game to compete. Except they did it with movies this time because they saw Detective Pikachu was going to be live action. Just shat this one out. Hey, don't don't forget uh, Imagination Studios. I think they're called. Or is making a Mario movie. Those are the guys who oh, made you're right. Those are the guys who made all those fucking uh, those Minions movies. The the Despicable Me shit. So yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be lit, bros. Ugh. But yeah, like Sonic already has like a design that works relatively well in like the real quote unquote real world. It it maybe it like I don't know. It, there's this thing where in um Western like United States, cartoons and animated things are looked at as childish, and Hollywood doesn't want to put money into something that's going to come across as childish. So I guess because they don't know what they're talking about, they just make it gritty and edgy. It's weird. Well, I don't like it. I'm not going to see it. So. I'm not going to see it unless that leaked bit of the script is 100% true, where Sonic the Hedgehog drives a big green car and just runs over Dr. Eggman. And <laughs> Eggman screams, saying, Please, Sonic, I'll never turn animals into robots again, I swear. Sonic ignores him and speeds up. Eggman says, <laughs> You can't do this, you aren't above the law. He says to Officer Burbo, You there, you're a cop, stop this crazy murderer. Officer Burpo. Officer Burpo turns off his body camera and smirks. Sonic speeds up again. Sonic says, I'm Sonic. Sonic the Roadhog. Eggman says, I'm going to die. <laughs> Sonic floors it. The SUV collides with Eggman with a, with a sickening HUD and knocks him over. He yells in agony as the 3,470 pound machine rolls over him. Wet crunching noises are heard as Eggman lets out one last, almost inhuman scream of pain. Jump cut to Sonic in his vehicle. Sonic looks to the camera and says, did I do that? <laughs> Please, Sonic, don't kill me. Yeah, so if that's in the movie, I'll see it. But I know for a fact that's not going to be in the movie because the actual plot of this movie is pretty much in the trailer. This is uh, just a origin story, because that's all movies can be now, of setting up Eggman of why he's in Mobius and why he looks the way he does and is trying to kill Sonic so bad. 
That's all it is. It's right there in the trailer. I don't even have to see the movie now. I know what it's going to be about. There's another leaked thing that came out with a guy who actually saw really early screen of the movie and did did a, an AMA on Reddit. And uh, he mentions that through the course of the movie, Eggman gets more... Well, he's I think he's just called Robotnik. He's actually called Eggman in the movie. He just gets progressively more and more obsessive over Sonic because Sonic keeps winning. And mm-hmm. this drives him to start changing over the course of the movie. That's why when you first see him, he's in the black trench coat. Then the other scene, you ha- he has the, the red coat. And then the last scene where you see him, he has the full-on mustache and like he's bald and everything because he's going absolutely insane trying to capture Sonic. Also, he gets fatter as the movie goes on. I'm sure he's going to be like eating weird shit and getting fat from it. Yeah. But uh, this is all just some bullshit, and with, wh- when I'm inevitably proven right that this is just the Eggman origin story, I'm just going to ask, why didn't we just start off in Mobius and have Eggman look the way he does and just be that fucking movie? Who the fuck cares? Because, Alex, why, name another uh, pre-existing IP that's gotten a movie that just, like, had the movie go on, like, not, sp- like... N- not okay, a sequel, I assume movies? you mean. The only superhero movies that do it are, like, the established fucking Marvel movies. Like, every single one of the DC ones was an origin movie. Uh, Shazam, Aquaman, I almost called them Aquarium. Like, Aqua, like, Aquarium. I don't know why. Um, The fucking Bat... Was Batman versus... No, yeah, Batman versus Superman had some kind of origin bullshit in it. For like the Justice League or whatever. I saw the Justice League, Alex, and I literally cannot remember anything about it. The DC movies uh, are terrible, except for Shazam, apparently, which I have not seen yet. I really want to, but I am criminally lazy. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I can't walk to a movie theater to sit down and watch a movie. I'm I so like lazy. Shazam, I won't even type Shazam watch cartoon dot IO into fucking Google or anything. Does it have a good rip? Because I'll do it. Then. That's how I watched the Burley movie. Someone had like a fantastic, beautiful, crisp thing. I'm, I don't know how he got it of the Burley movie. I just watched it on fucking YouTube because someone uploaded it like a crazy person. <laughs> my uh, one of my friends was messaging me on Facebook. He messaged me like six times today. And I finally checked my messages and he just straight up on his fucking Facebook profile uploaded the entirety of Avengers Endgame. Absolute fucking Chad. Which I Yeah, I jumped to a random point and saw that huge spoiler where Hulk uh, gets his arm chopped off and gets it replaced with a fucking minigun. I thought it was pretty sick. I mean, I'm I haven't seen the movie, so I'm inclined to believe you. So I have to ask, though, does Ant-Man go up his ass? Yes. Sweet. It's literally the intro of the movie. So, fun, so I want to talk a little fun thing about Endgame. So, I haven't seen it yet, because I'm not, I'm not getting out of my fucking house to go see a fucking three-hour movie. I got, I got fucking L-Sword to play, okay? <laughs> uh, I was on fucking uh, 4chan. You know, like a loser that I am. I was on fucking Alter, the fucking Fate General, and I just scroll down, and the guy with a spoiler image says, Hey guys, post your waifus. Pick her lady, it's mine. I open it, it's just a spoiler for Endgame. <laughs> like, what an, what an asshole. I don't care about spoilers, but he's a dick. It's like um, when I was on YouTube, and the way it, it was um, some random fucking video. And it's like, the comment was, Haha, guys, this is just like that time in Fallout 4 where your son's a robot and you nuke the Commonwealth. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's my favorite, uh, my favorite bullshit spoiler. It's, it's almost as bad as never, ever search anything related to a Phoenix Wright game ever. Because even if it's just like, oh man, I really liked the, uh, like the Bobby Fulbright's theme. Let oh, me find that on YouTube. Now, if that doesn't spoil you, the fact that you clicked on a Phoenix Wright one is going to mean like you're related for the next three months is going to be spoilers for every single Phoenix Wright game. By the way, uh, the first three are now on Steam. I'm which, surprised. Uh, makes me hope that they release the, um, I don't know if they'll ever do it, but the fact that uh, there is a PC release might make it easier to get my hands on a copy legally of uh, the, the Edgeworth, well, do you know if the second Edgeworth game has that really annoying ninja in it? I think that's the Did one. Did you ever she's play from. the Edgeworth one? 
I never played the Edge of Earth game. I know the first one was in America, but the second one wasn't. The second one's the one who has the ninja with the key in her hair, I think. No, she was in the first one. I oh, think shit. her name was Genki, and she was so annoying. I, st- I fucking sold the game for $5. Damn. That reminds me of, like, oh, I mentioned in Persona 4, where the cast was so fucking annoying, I had to put the game down for, like, half a year before I played it again. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there. I know there was uh, one with the... Uh, the like great detective Sherlock Holmes, but they never bought it out of Japan because uh, the estate of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Cor- fuck it, I can't pronounce his name, Conan Doyle, I think, was like throwing a hissy fit about them using Sherlock Holmes, even though I'm pretty sure he's public domain. Yeah, because he's super old. So Capcom just said fuck it. Um, I know there's a thing with copyright. It's called the Mickey Mouse Law. Ugh. Where uh, Disney artificially like gets an extension on copyright law, right when Mickey Mouse gets it, it mysteriously gets extended another twenty or thirty years whenever Mickey Mouse is getting close to being public domain, and not yeah. even like the Mickey Mouse we know, but like Mickey Mouse, which is just like a mouse called Mickey from like super super old cartoons. See, I was actually going to talk about that. Uh... I remember hearing a thing that in a couple of years, the super, super, super old rendition of Mickey Mouse will actually be public domain because apparently they can't extend it anymore legally. So what they're doing is... That's why the law has been changed four or five times. Yeah. So what they're doing is they're changing it to say that they own the entirety of Mickey Mouse's more modern, in air quotes, design. So say like, if we're, I don't even know, actually I don't even want to use this example because I might be wrong. I'm assuming that means like really old like Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse would be public domain. But I no. still, I think it might be a little older than that because fuck dude, it's Disney we're talking about. Yeah, Disney's kind of fucked up, but who cares? Oh, they have a monopoly on entertainment now, by the way. I hope you love it. I think they're below 51%, which is what you need for a monopoly. Oh, God damn it. But the other, like, uh, 50% is, like, scattered through a bunch of small things that who gives a shit about, you know? Yeah. I don't know if, um... I don't know if Disney has any real holdings in video games, if they own any big publishers or not. I don't think they do. They No, they still uh, just contract uh, publishers to do shit for them. I know like they've, Square they've, Enix. They've, they've wanted to, but it's always been something they've struggled with. I was actually watching a thing about that. That's why uh, the two new Star Wars games were made by EA... Because they've historically fucked up with their video games, does they, I mean? So they went with EA because EA is, on paper, the biggest company that makes the biggest releases. So, eh, fuck it, they're a safe bet, I guess. But EA kind of fucked up and made Battlefront and then Battlefront 2 that nobody liked. So, oops. I keep forgetting that uh, that Disney owns uh, Star Wars and shit. I remember because I was trying to watch Clone Wars on Netflix, which is a very good cartoon, actually, which is more proof that the prequel uh, series is just only the thing about the prequels are the movies themselves. The extended universe around them are actually very entertaining once people with talent are behind them. But uh, they had to get it off of Netflix because now Disney owned it and they want to put it on Disney's like uh, channel now. Yeah, yeah, fucking uh, I got some I got a copy of Shudder. Well, I guess not a copy, a subscription to it. I went to a convention in Chicago at, like, the end of March. Uh, that's where I went to Common Rider debt, because I had to borrow $20 from my friend to buy a bunch of Common Rider bootleg DVDs. I fucked up, because I went there, and the first thing I went was, Oh, shit, they got Common Rider! If I would have played it smooth, I could have talked the guy down, but he knew how, he knew that I wasn't going to leave without these DVDs. Price was, like, $65. What, what DVDs did you get? Uh, I got... All of Double and all of uh, Common Rider Super or Common Rider Stronger. A Stronger is one of the classics. Uh, the Double one is very good. I got the Double because it has the subtitles baked in, and my friend Mammon refuses to like put in the effort to try and like put subtitles into his computer like through a file and shit. So I just got him so that he could watch them. He's one of those people that like. He enjoys Power Rangers, which is fine. You know, Power Rangers, whatever. That's a big oof. And then like, hey, why don't you check out Kamen Rider? It's a slightly more mature one that has a little bit more meat to its storytelling. And then, ugh, it's in Japanese. Like, fucking fuck off, dude. Come on. You're goddamn like over the age of 18. You should be able to stomach 
foreign language movies or black and white movies. Get the fuck out of here, dude. By the way, Stronger is fucking weird. It's it was like really the old. fourth or like fifth series, right? Uh, let me let me count on top of my head. There was Rider One, then there was V, th- and then two was in the same series. So there's Kamen Rider V three, and there's fucking uh, Samazon right after that. Then I think so. Yeah. Then there is the number five Rider Man's in there. Str- uh, I think Stronger's after Amazon. Yeah, I think he's like the fourth then, or is he the fifth? Either way, the- like the character in it. Like, there's a bunch of... Because it's all in, like, the 80s, so they didn't use, like, barely any... Oh, I um, forgot X. Yeah, that's it. He's the fifth. Yeah, X is the third, then Amazon's four, and then Stronger's five. He's the fifth writer. So, like, the the models... Like, it's kind of weird, because the bodies of, like, some of the bad guys will just be, like, all fleshy and bloody and veiny and weird. Because they were, like, in the 80s, so they didn't really give a shit. It's like, have you ever seen that movie Pan's Labyrinth? Also, it was the 70s, and yes, actually, I have. It's a fucking weird movie. Like, that that's a movie that, like, a child could stumble upon, and it's like, oh, that's kind of weird, but it's not gonna, like, fucking scar them. Like, when was the last time you saw something, like, creepy or unsettling when watching, like, OKKO OK or, like, any other of those fucking shows? Like, that's Steven Universe. Other uh, than, I guess, like, maybe... A trigger, like a trigger word that didn't have a warning before it or something. I was going to say, uh, when we went to commercial and the screen turned black, I saw a reflection of my face and got scared. I look at I live the depressing reality that is me. <laughs> oh, dude, fucking speaking of depressing realities. So I put like a YouTube post up. Where I'm like, hey, guys, I'm going to do a Homestuck epilogue thing. And then I found out it's as long as like the sixth Harry Potter book. Because it's like 42 chapters of one side and 42 of the other. And it is grueling to read through. Oh, it is, the, it is, it's basically, uh, Alex, did you ever watch Moral Oral? Uh, no, actually, I have not seen that show. So how Moral Oral works is the first season, half of it is like set up. And it comes across originally, it's just like, dude, fuck Christians, Lamau, like, you know, making fun of people in the, in the Bible Belt and shit, like showing them as being super hypocr- super hypocritical, uh, not ad- not adhering to the actual like teachings of Christianity, yada 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 yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, then slowly over time, more and more of the, there's reasons that the characters are acting the way that they are, and it kind of gets revealed slowly. And through the second half of season one up until the end of season three, you're watching these people live horribly gray depressing unfulfilling lives and seeing all the things they could do to fix it but none of them having the opportunity or the like the will to do it to get out of this fucking horrible life they're in that's what the homestuck epilogue is cool text alex dude epic it's my that wasn't a text though that's the thing that was my phone saying it has to fucking update Ah, it overrode it. <laughs> Literally, nothing I could do. Instant fucking alert. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was gonna do a thing on that, and then it's I fucking I've been trying to read it while helping Joe edit Sit Boys, and like, goddamn, it is dreary. It's I had like a nine hour long conversation with Alex about it. I was about to bring that up, but you kept talking. So, you know what? It's even more grueling. There's this time where I was trying to you know, do my job at work. I was doing that criminal thing back in the, like 2012 that I used to do called Minding My Own Business. And then something <laughs> new, something new homesick related came out. And Ted was like, oh man. Look at all these Discord groups I'm in, all these friends I have talking about Homestuck with. You pushed them all aside, and you decided to talk to me instead. You decided, <laughs> hey, he's out there baking in the fucking summer heat, or well, summer heat over here anyway. If he's getting all sunburned. Know what he really needs right now? Me to not shut the fuck up about goddamn Homestuck. Me not to, me not to shut the fuck up about something that he hasn't even read, and he has a, no idea what he's talking about. And he's just going to go on and on for nine straight hours. Hours about goddamn home about these two scenes in fucking Homestuck. So yeah, you guys are gonna really like Homestuck episode five. <laughs> Alex is too small brain. He doesn't understand. You got no wrinkles. He's a smooth brain. You're you're fucking uh, 
You know that picture of the stupid Wojak where he's like inflating himself with a balloon with his brain? <laughs> and you're in the ocean of pee and poop underneath me. Yeah, basically. Us homestuckers are so enlightened, Alex. You just don't get it. No, it's Keno. You just don't get it. Uh, but yeah, that's... that's Cause I do this thing a lot where I'll have a bunch of ideas and try and juggle them around. By the way, I already started writing uh, a second like video project before I even was halfway done with filming Sit Boys. Uh, Joe came up with the idea a while ago. It's called This House is Most Certainly Filled with Bones. It's about uh, three three guys in New York sharing an apartment and they're John Wayne Gacy, Ed Gein and uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, wait a minute. Those names sound oddly familiar. <laughs> um, or no, I I think that was the original pitch, but we changed it to John Wayne Gacy, Ed Gein, and um, Richard Chase. Uh, and having each three, like, it, it's basically making fun of sitcoms because uh, uh, fucking John Wayne Gacy was going to be played by me, and he was going to be an extremely effeminate gay man. Oh, so literally you. Bros. Epic Fortnite dab. Dab. <laughs> Body kid. Uh, Ed Gein was going to be the misunderstood artist, and then Richard Chase was going to be a fucking crazy caveman. It was going to okay. be basically like... The, it's not going to be an hour long. It was going to be like five minutes, because there's not a lot to milk there, but... I so might do I that. I don't, I'm not. I... It's not going to take two months to do that. I don't even know if I'll end up doing it. So, well, you can't just fucking blue ball them like that, Tad. But I have, I have two things I got to say. One, South Park already did that. Two, uh, who's the last one again? I haven't actually heard of that guy. What did he fucking do? Uh, Richard Chase, the Vampire of Sacramento. He needed to drink more blood because he kept losing all of his. He oh. killed about four thousand rabbits to drink their blood. So, yeah, that's that's a really funny uh, character to have in, like, your, your comedy sket, right? Well, I mean, if it ain't people, yeah, you could probably do some weird shit like that. Oh, no, that. he drank people. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. And then we were going to just have, like, guest hosts, like, Jeffrey Dahmer shows up, and he's... Uh, it, it's it's something that's, like, off to the side. It was just like, it was a, I think there's potential for really funny goofs in there. So you're basically making too many cooks, but actually making it into the show instead of just a really long opening. Basic. Well, no, that's it. You call it two men eat cooks. Boom. Dabbed. Uh, uh. But yeah, Sip Boys has been really hard to do because like, I felt bad because we had three places we had to film. The first one, um, the lady got there at like 4 a.m., and then said, uh, oh, yeah, you guys could come in around, like, 3 p.m. and you guys could film. And she had to be there the whole time because, like, you know, you're letting people into your place of employment. You can't just leave. Obviously, I mean, we weren't going to do anything because, you know, we're like, fucking ransack it. You're not but, Smash um, players. Yeah, yeah. But uh, she ended up having to stay until, like, 8.30. We had to finish because the cleaning crew showed up for the day. It was cleaning while we were trying to film. And I felt really bad because she was there from four in the goddamn morning until 830 at night. And then she had to work the next day, too. Oh, so she's like a game developer. Yep, basically. Crunch time. Uh, fun fact, though, about Smash players. Uh, so I went to a Magic pre-release last weekend, right? For War of the Spark, the new set. And this is the first time I started Magic in 2013. This is the first time I ever got first place at an event. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am the greatest. Um, and this is 100% true both times because I did it twice. I did it on Saturday and Sunday. The, the better you are at magic, the lower your personal hygiene. Oh. The first, so I won my first game and the next day I played against perfectly normal dude. Second game, the guy had a little bit of a weed funk to him and looked like his hair was kind of messy. Third game, guy smelled like ass. Fourth game, he smelled like ass. He also had like a spinning disc for his life total. So I had to ask him what his life was about 16 fucking times. And he got really fucking salty when I killed his guy and then like got really pouty for the rest of the time we played like a fucking man child. All right. So I really want to talk about this whole fucking thing. Why do you not take care of yourself? Why do you not have hygiene? 
I want anyone out there who, who takes showers like that one random fucking post I saw every five weeks. Why do you motherfuckers do that? Look me in the eyes and tell me why. Um, well, actually, um, Alex, if you take a shower every day, it, um, takes the oils off your hair and skin, and it's actually more healthier to not take- Shut the fuck up, Stinky. That's not a goddamn answer. I hate- The only reason these people do that is because they don't leave their house, and they don't socialize. But, like, card games and video games are a nerd thing. So they leave their house, and they're so used to smelling like shit, and not having any social skills- that they go to these fucking events and they don't shower or they put like, oh, all I need to do. What do I need to do for hygiene? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll spray myself with Axe and then fucking smoke a joint. And that'll probably work. No, you, you're smelly. Uh, one of the places <laughs> I played that was in a church because it was like a repurposed church. It was the arcade in town called Onet. And they had two spots to play. One was upstairs and one was downstairs in the arcade room downstairs in the arcade room perfectly fine upstairs i went up there and my eyes were watering against the last dude i played because i could like it burned how fucking bad these people smelled it was awful like this is dude at my work who kind of smells bad but he has an excuse you know what that is he's fucking homeless you (laughs) don't have an excuse if you have a fucking shower i hate anyone said you said they, they, they put axe on themselves they don't even go that far, Ted, and you know that. A lot of them just don't even care. They just fucking go. It disgusts me. I can barely even... I'm a fucking nerd. I'm a fucking loser, Ted. We have episodes about how much I was a fucking loser. And I can't stand not being fucking clean. If I wake up and I don't shower, I feel bad. Like, I don't feel like awake yet, you know what I mean? It feels good to shower. I don't understand why no one wants to fucking do it. Makes me so mad, man. The longest I could go without a shower, the longest I've ever gone in the past, like, four, no, more than four, the past, like, 14 years, is I'll wake up and I have, like, oh, let me look at my uh, watch that I drew onto my wrist here, like, Patrick. Oh, I don't have to do anything until Monday when I go back to work. Eh, fuck it. That's the longest I'll ever go without showering, and that's only if I absolutely know I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything, and even then, I'll, like, wash my face and, like, wash my hair, and that's it. But you're gonna get rid of all your natural oils! But normally, I'm, a, I'm like, a fucking normal person. I wake up, and then I shower, and then I go about my day, because I don't get it. I, it it's gotta be that these people just don't understand, because they're, so, they're just stupid. Oh, you know, you, you know what you want to call them, but you don't know if you can call them it. Filthies. I was going to say uh, Spurgos, but yeah, that works too. Oh, I mean, Spurgos is fine. That's that's not against the YouTube Terms of Service. Excellent. <laughs> uh, fuck. But uh, that's mostly what I've been up to. Uh, just doing sit boys. Um, we tried filming a scene, and I shit you. It was like the best performance, the best take we had. And then I fucking shit you not. A fucking train came by. I have never seen a train on those railroad tracks, and this is the first time in my 24, soon to be 25 years on this fucking planet. I was very mad. You see, Ted, they, uh, they heard that the famous Ted Becker, part of the LMTY crew, was filming a video, and they just had to get there, so they got yeah. on their train and they drove on by. Yeah, fucking, uh, when we were at set three, which was like a junkyard thing, uh, there's no bathroom nearby, so we all pissed in the basement. Now it's the uh, <laughs> mom found the piss basement. Oh, so you are Smash players? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> I think it was Smash players. There was some fucking fighting game thing where everyone got kicked up because they were pissing in the basement, and I don't mean in the bathroom. I mean just on the floor <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> Based. I don't remember what game it was. I want to say Smash Brothers off the top of my head, but if any of you guys remember that story, you can fill me in on it. It's so, either Smash Bros or fucking Melty Blood. Those are the two most degenerate fighting game well, communities. Well, no, 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 Melty Blood has respect. They would never piss in the basement because they play you in the bathroom. <laughs> They're already there, Tad. You don't. You don't shit where you eat, or you don't play where you piss. In the case of uh, Melty Blood. <laughs> So, that's what you've been doing, pissing in the basement. See, what I've been doing, because I'm a fucking loser who's been sitting around, I have a fun little story. 
So, Ted, you ever hear of Apex Legends? Never played it. I saw it. Like, I saw a stream of it for a few minutes. I'm like, wow. This looks just like Player Unknowns and Fortnite and does not look fun at all. I'm well, actually, never going to touch this game. Well, actually, it's Overwatch and Player Unknown Battlegrounds put together. So, you oh, know, dude. real classy. So, here, here's the thing. So, my friend Aaron, the guy who wanted me to play Sam's show, which I did eventually play Sam's show and ended up liking it, to that one person in the Q&A who asked me about it, he wanted me to play this game. At first, I'm like, eh, I don't really feel like it. Typical me. But he insisted. So I installed it. And, like, sheep, everyone else followed along suit. Now, I had so many goddamn problems with that fucking game. I have a decent computer. It's not, like, fucking super-duper high-quality streamer level, But you can run a lot of these new games at, like, maximum settings, right? No matter what settings I had, whether it was, like, maximum or, like, the lowest fucking, like, N64 level settings, I would constantly fucking crash. (laughs) Now, the frame rate was never the issue, but I always had 60 FPS no matter what. That never mattered, but I would just keep fucking crashing. And it was always a fucking coin flip every game I'd play if this game would crash or not. And this wasn't just me. Other people have had this problem, too. And uh, I've been on this entire adventure learning so much about my computer that I never knew about, just trying to get Apex Legends to work. And it never did. And on top of all of this, Apex Legends has the worst balancing I've ever seen, at least back then, with the worst fucking guns like the Peacekeeper and the Wingman and Wraith existing. I'm not going to get too into Apex Legends, but basically that game blows ass. And it (laughs) drove me so insane that I couldn't stomach anything anymore. And I was going to just go back to Fortnite, right? Just play Fortnite again. I liked Fortnite. And it was like uh, season eight started now. You know, I beat the Battle Pass for This Battle Pass is free. I'm going to have fun. But Aaron said this one thing that stuck in the back of my head forever. He said, you guys only play that game for the chores. And, and I'm like, eh, no big deal. I still have fun in Fortnite. I don't just do the Battle Pass things. Now, you've said that before, too, and so is Index. And Index called it Chore Night once. But that didn't matter to me. But Aaron said it, so now it's in there. Now it's in there <laughs> cooking in the back of the head. And so I'm doing this these two games. One I'm going to play with my boy, whose I, name I will not say because it's uh, a slur. Because he's a real classy guy. <laughs> he's real classy. But I'm playing with him. And uh, we're, we're just a, it's a duel. We're just in like the jungle area by the volcano. He's like, hey, where was that fucking secret thing for the Battle Pass star? I'm like, oh yeah, it's over there or something. I, th- I think, hmm, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? And then we get back to playing, and then there's this one bit more. We're in a full-on squad with, my, with, with the boys, and I kill a guy, and I'm just, I'm into it. I am just going nuts. Like, this guy comes up, I just shoot him down, I'm like, ah, 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 I'm just screaming, I'm hitting him with the fucking pickaxe, right? I'm just getting, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like a PTS soldier dude. And my friend Ryan is pissed at me. He's like, hey, why well, you should have let me shoot him and finish him off? I'm like, what, why, who cares? He's like, well, I wanted to get my SMG damage for the challenge, duh. And immediately I stopped having fun with that game. Because Aaron <laughs> was right. He was completely right. I literally cannot feel, that, feel fun for that game anymore. Because even if I ignore it, obviously my friends can't. And I'm not going to play Fortnite alone. That's fucking stupid and boring. It, it's what fucking League of Legends has been using with their... They uh, they really fucking pushed it. So when we played League of Legends, you got IP, right? When you finished the match, and then you got your big 250 first win of the day. Now, you don't get anything unless you get that first one of the day. Or you do their, like, weekly challenges that they have that are like, oh, do your challenges and you'll get some, like some dog books that you can use to get special dog cubes to try and get a portion of a dog skin that you can pay money to finish. That's for the events. And yeah, I'm getting a little sick of the battle pass fad. Uh, one more thing. I want this. Is well, Alex, really I thought important. you said that uh Fortnite was like perfect. It was going to be around forever, huh? Cause it's fun. Fortnite is fun. It's not Fortnite's fault. It's the battle passes fault. <laughs> okay. I'm not wrong though. I mean, if okay, sure. okay, here's the thing. If all the challenges in the battle pass were just play the game, like say place top 10 with your friends or like kill people specifically with a shotgun or something, that would be fine. But it's when they start getting a little more gimmicky where it's like find this secret bullshit and drive a plane through like these secret rings and shit where they distract from the game. Then they feel a little more like chores because I would never do this if they didn't tell me. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to always try to kill someone with a weapon. But I'm not going to fly a plane through a time trial unless they told me to, right? 
that's where Fortnite starts becoming a little less fun. And then, you know, Aaron did the whole thing. But this madness of now, I hate Apex. It crashes like crazy, drove me insane, and now Fortnite isn't fun anymore. What do I do now? There is one thing that tried to save me, Tad. Old school RuneScape. Old school RuneScape. Home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. So, my friends were so happy. In fact, Aaron, the guy who called it, oh, the guy who told me I only played Fortnite for chores and maybe no longer enjoy video games anymore, comes back from his trip to Japan because he's a weeaboo, and he's like, why the fuck is Alex playing goddamn RuneScape? <laughs> <laughs> and it's all his fault. So I'm playing RuneScape, and I'm just enjoying it. We're watching fucking Settled's videos. I'm playing with my boys. He's making... He's multi-boxing. I'm sorry, that's a WoW term. He's playing two accounts at once. You call it multi-boxing in WoW because you buy multiple boxes of the game. Get it? But uh, he's playing he's, he's playing fucking two goddamn accounts. He's got his Iron Man, his Ultimate Iron Man. He's doing all this crazy shit. And I'm sitting here. I'm fucking just killing some fucking dwarves to get some combat EXP. Some guy walks past me who's like stark naked. Turns around and says, hey, are you new to this game? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, getting my last uh, attack XP. I kill a dwarf. Yep, there it is. Back to, my, back to my quest. And he's like, hey, why don't you follow me? And I said, I'm not going to the fucking wilderness, asshole. And he's, just, <laughs> no. and he's like, I'm not going to take you to the fucking wildy. Just follow me. We'll take you to the bank. He goes, yeah, so I follow him. And Walrus is like, do it. Do it. Do it. Come on, do it. He's going to give you shit. He's going to give you shit. And that, that's the guy who's multi-boxing. He loves RuneScape. Yep. And so I follow him, and he's like, all right, here you go. He gives me 750k, a shitload of fucking runes, a bunch of strength pots, and, like, a bunch of fucking, like, rings of, like, teleportation or something. And he's like, all right, hopefully this gets you through the rest of the game. I'm like, uh, cool, thanks. All right. Alex, and you I, stopped playing RuneScape. Can I have this? Hold up. I didn't stop just yet. Please. See what Please. <laughs> no, you can't have them. They're mine in case I ever go back and I break again. So I ended up not playing RuneScape that much because I hit a critical peak of of uh, boredom when I was fishing outside a barbarian village while listening to RuneScape <laughs> uh, music. And I'm like, you know, doing all these quests with the boys, I've realized something. This is a single player game. That's fucking <laughs> boring. I'm not playing a single player MMO. Get me the hell out of here. And so I cracked again. What do I do now? Then, at 3 in the morning, on fucking 4chan, because I'm that much of a loser, I see an L-Sword thread on V. It got four replies and was deleted, but it was put in the back of my head now, and I just had to go back home to Elrios. Fucking, uh, I don't think you were, I think you were at work when I did it, but, um... I was playing RuneScape at, like, 3am, and I wanted to test out my streaming stuff. I did stream it on YouTube, I did it on oh, Twitch. God. And uh, I streamed for, like, six and a half hours of playing RuneScape. I did, like, the Dragon Slayer quest, but I, I fucking... Uh, I went in there and I said, watch me risk it all. He's like, you wouldn't do it. You're a wuss. And so I took almost my entire bank value and brought it in to fight, like, the Dragon Slayer boss. And if I would have died, I would have lost my entire bank. And so I just spent six and a half hours fucking around and, like, I think it was... Like, three or four of your friends are all fucking with me the entire time. Yeah, it's Corvus and Walrus, the boys who were fucking egging me on to keep playing RuneScape and do all these quests and shit and, like, guiding me through it. Who was it? I think there was, like, Corvus or something was being really fucking annoying, because, uh, I was doing the quest, and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta take out this evil chicken. And I go in there, and I'm using, like... I was using, like, horribly inefficient gear, but I was doing it because I had to intimidate <gasps> the chicken. You and he was getting, dare. like, really fucking mad <laughs> while your other friend Omega was, like, here. Like, I, he was killing chickens, then cooking them, and then training me mid-battle so he could give me some food to keep me going. It was great. I have the stream, like, saved on my computer. At some point, I'll probably, like, fucking chop it down. I would suggest not doing that, because if I recall correctly, you put your fucking RuneScape pin on your bank in the fucking stream. <laughs> That's right, I opened my bank account and just put in my pin and just didn't even think anything. He's like, yo, what the fuck, did you just fucking put in your bank pin? I was like, yeah, what of it? I haven't changed it, by the way, so if you want to hack oh, my God. RuneScape account, go watch that six-hour stream and you will be able to hack into my RuneScape account. I have three old school bonds in there. That's like 30 bucks. So. So to finish off my little like bit of story is because uh, this is actually still related to RuneScape. 
I uh, got back into Elstone and I've been playing that a lot. And I even got uh, a dude named Lazen in the fucking podcast Discord to play it too. And I was doing most of this shit alone because it's really old content. I haven't played the game in almost three years. So everyone's like in the new areas, right? Yeah. And so doing all this content. And there was something I realized about this game is that all the criticisms I ever had of the game of why I quit were actually fixed right when I quit. And I felt really, really bad. But those Koreans don't you you don't owe those Korean MMO companies anything, Alex. Don't let them hook their claws into you. Yeah. But uh while I was leveling all this stuff, and when I finally got I'll skip the whole fucking story for maybe I'll save it for an episode. <laughs> but when I was at the end just kind of grinding to the point where like now that I'm max level and like now all I gotta do is get my ERP up, yes, it's called <laughs> ERP. They unironically <laughs> abbreviate the fucking thing ERP. Uh when I'm getting that up and also getting some money to upgrade my gear. So I'm kind of in like a little stagnant state that you get in MMOs. I'm thinking, you know, sometimes I kind of feel bad if I just spend like an entire day playing Elsewhere getting money, right? Then I watched a video of the potato-only ultimate Iron Man in RuneScape. And the guy goes on this entire adventure to be an Iron Man at like 10 health who only eats raw potatoes. That's his challenge. And to get through monkey madness. So he brought in all of his friends, the potato warriors, and they spent hours going through this cave trying to uh, jerry-rig it so that he can get through it without taking damage because the rocks that fall on you do more than 10 damage. But they go through the cave and he doesn't have the fucking thing he needs. So then he goes all the way back I'm in through the, the cave of recording a podcast twice. Oh fuck! That's why I didn't answer when he knocked on the door. I'm sorry, dog. Come here. Oh shit! I'm sorry, dog. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh shit! I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Get out of here, wet dog. <laughs> fuck it, we're keeping it in. So anyway, yeah, I didn't hear anything you just said for the past minute, but continue on as if I did hear something, Alex. So anyway, I feel less bad about wasting time in any video game or activity ever because I always just think of the potato ult- the potato only ultimate Iron Man and the Monkey Madness quest. By the way, he did eventually die, so now he no longer is an ultimate Iron Man. The account's over. Very cool. Anyway, so yeah, neither of us did anything substantial with our time over the past two months, have we? Well, I did... I've been sitting here waiting for you. I've been playing Elsword, the greatest fucking Korean MMO ever. You know, Alex, you could potentially try and, like, do things when I'm doing other things. Yeah, I'm playing (laughs) Elsword. Okay. Okay. That's the highest effort that... (laughs) You know, I just remembered a long time back, um... I think uh, we were using that, like, stupid Homestuck instant messenger for whatever reason. I don't remember why. Oh, I know the reason it was, because you made me use it. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, listen, things happened back then, I don't know. I don't think we could say definitively either or. Yeah, okay, okay I see how But I remember, right. like, my name that I came up with was really fun and cool, and yours is just cool, Fez. That's the amount of effort you put into everything that you do. Yes, Ted, clearly. It wasn't that Homestuck is shit and I didn't care. No, it's clearly that me as a person just just never cares about anything. It's not possibly, maybe, that Alex doesn't <laughs> like Homestuck. No, Alex is just a terrible person. Why the fuck won't he listen to me when I want to fucking talk about Hussy and his update? What do you mean he's playing Dota 2 with like five of his friends right now and having a good time? I need to talk about Homestuck now! That's See, it. I'm glad you understand, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? The joke just hit you? <laughs> no, it's just really silent. It's like fucking. Like know. You, you don't know. You don't know who Ron and Fez are, do you? No, unfortunately, I do not. Uh, it's basically me and you, where one person, uh, I think it's Ron. He, uh, he's like the main host, and then Fez just kind of like shows up, and every now and then does like some really funny stuff or whatever. And there was a point where Ron was really fucking mad at Fez. And Fez walks up and he's like, in the episode, or like, because it was a radio show, a weekly one. And he goes, you see the blueberries, not a standalone fruit. It's not like the the kiwi. 
He's waiting for Ron to say anything, and he just fucking stares him down until he starts, like, crying. And fucking Ron gets up and leaves the studio because he was so fucking pissed at him. Because that's what Fez would do during his bits, where he would, like, talk about something and have to carry the entire conversation. It's really funny. That was one of the things Joe was showing me when we were supposed to be editing Sit Boys, and I couldn't convince him to stop. I appreciate that we are consistently procrastinating procrastinating when it comes to content. Basically, every time we try to record a fucking episode, we will say, like, all right, let's record, and then take, like, 30 minutes to, to two hours of just posting memes to each other. Then we hit the record button. Yeah, pretty much. Listen, anyway, podcasts are hard to do. What else is hard to do? Saying those plugs at the end of the episode. They are. So instead, I'm just going to light this lighter. Comedy. I don't even have like a candle or anything in here. But yeah, so this was this was a sloppy episode. Oh, I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. Sloppy well, episode. I, w- I want it to be sloppy. I want to go back to being a podcast where we just talk about like stuff and tell stories again. I'm done with this. Vi- I'm done with this video game summary review bullshit. I want to make fucking. Uh, well, I can't say that because that's apparently uh, not a cool thing to say. I want to make the podcast a podcast again. I don't even know what you were trying to say. I was going to say I want to make the podcast great again, but I can't say that anymore. <laughs> so I want to make the podcast the podcast again. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. This was kind of fun. Um, once I'm finally fucking done with Sit Boys, like, I'll finally have enough time to actually sit down and do other things. And that'll be nice, because then I can, probably, I can do podcasts again. Because I have a bunch of neat ideas for ones that I wanted to do that uh, aren't as Alex put it, just like video game weird reviews. It's like, hey, let's talk about this game. And then just talk like, I don't know. I'm, I'm bored with those. I'm bored with those too Because it's just, there, there's not, like the SMT one that we did recently. We're not different. That enough. one was like fine, I guess. The, my favorite episodes of the podcast that we've done. Well, my favorite are the Homestuck ones. But then after that was like, the Dido music, like the one where it's like, what the fuck is this thing? And we were just talking about this weird out of nowhere thing that we stumbled on. That was super cool. So and interesting to us. Like one of those weird things. Or like my old dream episodes. You know, those were my favorites because those they got fan art. I love that. That means people like liked that story and the stupid characters in my stupid head enough to like draw it. It made me so happy. I want to go back to doing that where we had to be unique again that's why we were able to grow but we've stagnated because we're not unique anymore you know what i mean uh the other episode i really liked i like alex doesn't like these ones but i like the um the one where i talked about the the digital and physical trading card games i think comparing and contrasting it was way more interesting than like any of the episodes i did around it or like the uh the toby fox one i thought that one was really good um the you may nikki one was really good as well because it's it's not just like, hey, here's a video game. Let's talk about video game. Like the Hollow Knight one wasn't very good it. in retrospect. We were just no. talking about a really cool game. Um, like the Team Fortress Two one is a, was a was a better take on it because it was. I heard uh, that. What? I heard a little screenshot picture uh, sound. Oh no, that's probably the rain because it's raining really fucking hard. It's been raining for like three days. But I don't. It, it's. We're at that point where I do agree that we have to change things. Um, the thing I'm worried about is that we'll we'll try a bunch of different formats and then kind of won't find something that fits until, like, it's too late because then I have to go into, like, school full time so I can have... I want to get to the point where I have a garage that has a car in it, which, name how many people... It, well, it might be different for you, but I know, like one person who has a garage that doesn't store a bunch of garbage but actually stores their car in it you know because they have enough money to care about their car and care about their garage well you get to a certain point old people so all the old people have cars here unfortunately yeah they're all fucking boomers get them out of here i say it's it's i don't know it's the boomer state full of old people and dogs boom but uh but what we want to say is when we close the episode out is what do you guys want after all, there the, there are yous, there are views. That's true. Yeah. Um, I I guess if if you're listening to the RSS, 
Um, you can find the Twitter, Let Me Tell You PD, the YouTube channel, Let Me Tell You About, um, the Discord, uh, all that shit in the description, the Patreon, yada yada. Um, by the way, thank you for, because I know it's been like two months without like actual normal podcasts, and like, I would not like feel offended if like people dropped from the Patreon because like, oh, well, they haven't made anything in a while. Like, I appreciate that people like anticipate that we're going to make something that's worth those two months. And that does feel good. That feels good to me that people trust me enough to like make a good thing that they're like, I'm fine with waiting. We'll just see what he does. Like, that's cool, because I'll tell you right now. I do not have like in my in my own family, I do not have a lot of like sources of people that like encourage me to do like creative artistic things like no one seems to give a shit. So it's nice to know that people on the Internet care. But yeah, send us a message on one of those. If you what do you what do you think? What do you think would be uh, an interesting podcast for us to do like? Do you prefer more weird topics? Do you like it when we just ramble about stuff? Do you like, you know, X, Y, Z, column A, column B, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, use some of our previous episodes as examples. Like, what are your favorites and least favorites we've done? Because I really, again, I was getting all introspective the other night. I really want to, like, improve again because I feel like we've stagnated super hard. Yeah, so we'll keep an open ear out for that. Um, For the questions of the month for this month, I'm... Just I'm going to take those and probably combine them with next month or I might even change how the questions of the month works because they're super cool and I like them because we get really fun episodes out of it. But I think if we're going to change the podcast, we should change a bunch of other stuff, too. If if it's not working, you know, change it. If we could do something better, change it. Yada, yada, yada. But that that's all up in the air. But I'm probably going to combine the April and May. There's a big old truck going through my house. <laughs> I'm going to combine the April and May ones. Uh, Cause I'll probably do um, a stream of the, the sit boys when it comes out, like with uh, me and Alex and Joe and shit. Cause you could do that on YouTube. You could set up like a schedule and then put out a video as a live stream and people can come in and shit. Um, other thing, uh, if you guys liked the, the video game streams that we did, like I think we've done like three or four now. Um, those, I like doing those. Those are fun. Like we did Jackbox last time and shit. So we got to up the frame rate on those, though. Yeah, I don't. I, I, it worked fine on my, it worked on my machine. So I don't know. We'll we'll try. We'll, we'll if we do it those again, we'll probably uh, make sure they actually fucking work. But anyway, I, yeah, this is like tw- like 10 or 12 minutes of ending. So I guess let's just go ahead and end it here, Alex. Let's end it all. all. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, burn it down. Anyway. Yeah, it's not going to go another month without an episode, I'll tell you that much. Look forward to Sit Boys, fuckers.